Planet X TV. Hey, Planet X viewers, I'm Paul Tosh and Mark Queen here. We are in Las Vegas at DEMA. I hope you like our show on Planet X TV. Hey, Mark, I heard uh, Wyland's in town. You want to go check him out? Absolutely. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Wyland, and, and I'm with my good friend Rodney Fox, one of the great uh, legends of the sea and a uh, big advocate for sharks. And uh, uh, he actually uh, sustained one of the worst uh, shark bites in the history of diving. Uh, Rodney, so um, how's it going over here at DEMA this year? It's it's great. It's you know there are so many old friends that I've seen have been out on our expeditions. Right. We've made over 80 different films, documentaries for all sorts of uh, Disney, all sorts of people, and so many gather together at this sort of occasion to check out all the new stuff and what's all available here. It's it's, it's an exciting time. It is. You know all the cool people, Dr. Sylvia Earle, our friend, and uh, virtually everyone who is uh, you know an ocean advocate is here, and we have a lot of fun. We're we're really tight. You know all all the uh, you know the divers, and this is kind of our our world, our community. And uh, we uh, today we're really focused on bringing the, uh, the the conservation message and conservation of sharks. Look out for, but look after the sharks. That's right. Right. And and I'm leaving it up to the younger people of today with Where? all of the new wonderful new gizmos and gadgets that you can buy. I'm right. amazed at how much new information diving equipment's around Absolutely. and all those wonderful cameras and stuff now. Right, right. You know, it's making your paintings obsolete. Well, yeah, you know, <laughs> wow. And what no, about I'm my sorry. sculptures? No, no, you own no, one no, of my sculptures, no, right? And it's, it's sitting in the pride of place in my room. There you but go. I've, I'm here actually to photograph you doing some of your work because yes. I think that's that's the ultimate is to get a picture of you painting one of your own, show, own, own paintings. Yeah. Well, well, you know, I, I try to support uh, Dima and diving. Beneath the Sea is another good show, yeah. the Long Beach show. But uh, the diving community is... Uh, unique we got some unique characters and he's one of the most unique of all yeah. and he's one of my heroes he's done more for sharks than virtually anybody on the planet and uh, Rodney Fox a legend I hope you'll come and meet him I hope you'll, you'll go diving with him in Australia where did he find you our expeditions at uh, rodneyfox.com.au you'll find all about them and if you want to know anything and research and uh, and have a close encounter with great white sharks that's the place to go. Look us up on the uh, internet. Yes, and I want all the women watching not to worry about sharks. They're man-eaters. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's all good. If you wish to appear on Planet X TV or to get more information, please email us at info at Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Planet X is brought to you by Super Shuttle, the official transportation partner for Planet X TV. When you need a lift, think Super Shuttle. Planet X TV. Only here, only here, only here, only here, only here, only here, only here. Planet X TV. Hey, we're back here at Planet X TV at the DEMA show in Las Vegas. Here with Rodney, Fo Le can I say legendary Rodney Fox? Usually that, that's an older term. <laughs> Shark survivor. Yeah, well we know uh, our friend Wyland caught up with you about the subject, but yeah. something here at Planet X we care about deeply is shark finning. Can you tell our audience about shark finning and why it's such uh, an important thing we need to concentrate on? It's amazing how many sharks are killed from the finning. We need the sharks in our ocean. They're uh, very slow growing but there's up to 80 to 100 million sharks every year just killed for their fins only. And what it's doing is, is ruining our, our oceans because without the sharks in our ocean, we're not going to have a vibrant, healthy ocean. Mm -hmm. 
Fish get viruses, fish get illnesses and sickness. It's the sharks that eat and keep it clean, keep everything under pressure. Mm -hmm. And the more we learn about them, the more we understand, you know. We must stop the finning. We must stop the finning. Hey, thanks, Rodney. Planet X caught up with the film Extinction Soup. It is going to tell you all about the subject, so watch it here on Planet X TV from DEMA. My name is Philip Waller. I am the director of the film Extinction Soup. Uh, our film talks about uh, shark finning and shark fin soup. Um, as far as, you know, obviously they kill over 100 million sharks a year. And so for us to kind of bring this to the attention to the world uh, is such a huge honor. And if anything, it was one of those things where we really just wanted to show uh, just the honesty of what's happening. And I think that so few people in the world uh, know what's going on. And uh, it, it's a journey of seeing somebody like myself, you know, who's from Hollywood, who has no shark training in any which way, shape or form, uh, you know, goes out and swims with huge tiger sharks. And I will absolutely be completely honest. I was freaked out when I first did it. But as, uh, as time went on, you, you kind of just realize that it's not like Jaws, you know, that these animals don't want to just come and eat you and tear you apart. You know, it's one of those things that uh, it, it's so incredibly humbling, especially when you're free diving and you're going down 80 feet, you're looking up, you know, holding your breath and you just see sharks all around and whales and dolphins. And, you know, it just shows you uh, how important the ocean not only is for humans, but just for the planet itself. So it was an absolutely huge, huge honor to be able to make this film. And hopefully when everybody sees it, uh, they'll not only have an appreciation for sharks, but realize that they're not these evil, malicious creatures. And I think at the end of the day, that's definitely our, our goal. Every year, an estimated 30 to 70 million sharks are killed to support a growing worldwide trade in their fins and other products. Up to sort of the 1950s and 60s, the shark fin soup industry was pretty small, isolated to a few wealthy individuals. But then when we saw the rise of places like Hong Kong and Taiwan and Singapore, there was an increase in demand. But that increase in demand was absolutely dwarfed with the economic expansion of China. So now in China, from our surveys, it seemed like probably around 100 million people are eating shark fin soup in China alone. And so the scale and pace of the destruction of sharks has really gone up rapidly in the last 10, 10 or so years. I've been to ports in Japan where on a single day they landed six to 7,000 sharks. I've been in ports in Taiwan where a single boat has unloaded 10,000 fins off one trip. And when you consider the magnitude of these fleets that are fishing around the world, you quickly get an idea of the scale of this industry. It's no different than killing an elephant for its tusk or dehorning a rhinoceros for its horns. People enjoy it, they like it, they feel their nutrition value. Uh, like I said, it's part of the culture. Like something that you believe in. Eating shark fin soup is about as cultural as foot binding of women. From my point of view, we're not saving shark, we're saving the ocean. When we're saving the ocean, you're saving mankind. Now that we have found a way to actually make progress, we can't stop. We have to keep this wave going. This is momentum that we've never had before. And if we just stick together and keep plugging along, I think we really can stop shark fin soup. Um, I, I think the main thing is is just get involved. You know, uh, find out what your passion is, whether it's you know the ocean or uh, you know the planet. Uh, garbage island, you know, is another thing. You know, where there's plastic all around. I think just the more that we can get away from watching things like the Kardashians and actually you know start focusing on what's important. I think it's really really great when you can be a part of something and you really see the difference. Like in our film Extinction Soup, uh, we had a bill passed making it illegal to kill sharks in Hawaii, and that bill has now been passed in 15 different countries and I can't even begin to tell you how inspiring it is to work with you know uh, different political figures and different people that give of their lives you know not for money or anything else but to give back to the future generations and to make this world a better place thanks Rodney and thank you for joining us we're gonna be right back here on Planet X, Planet X. <laughs>
here, only here, only here, only here, only here, only here, only here, Hey, Planet X viewers, we're back here at Dima. Can I call you friend Etzel? Of course you can. From Bonaire and Melinda. Bonaire has a very special place, as you know, in our hearts. We've done a couple of episodes from there. Who wants to go first? Tell me, in your own words, what makes Bonaire so special? Well, Bonaire is special because Bonaire is uh, one of the top three diving locations worldwide. It's a very relaxed uh, island, very easygoing, very mm -hmm. safe and uh, you can uh, do, do the shore diving in Bonaire, which is very popular uh, amongst the divers, scuba divers, and that's why they come there. That means that you can rent a vehicle and you can decide when and how long you can uh, take your dive. Yep. And that means that if you count how many dives you can do in, uh, in a week, it is more than most, uh, most destinations. And that was, that's what makes uh, Bonaire different and more attractive. Can you beat that, Melinda? Well, he said uh, he really wrapped it up really good, but I would say also the freedom of diving, a little bit more what he said, that you're not bounded to any schedules. You know, you can come down and go to one of our many, many shore diving uh, spots or all our dive sites. You can go down to Klein Bonaire. You could do technical diving. You know, it's, you know, it depends on the type of diver. So besides that, our local people, our hospitality, our cuisine. So there's lots to do in Bonaire, yeah. You want to see some footage of what we shot there in Bonaire? Let's watch it on Planet X TV. Okay, thank you. Very thank much. you. Hey everybody, it's Paul Tosh here with my buddy Mark Queen on the special Planet X Bonaire edition. X marks a spot right here in Bonaire. Only here, only here, only here, only here, only here. Now our walk around Krolendike, the island's main hub, allowed us to take on local scenery, cool people, and Bonaire culture. For Mark and myself, this is just our latest of many trips to the island, which feels you know, almost like a second home, and we are thrilled to be back with our friends from Planet X TV. Now, our expedition to Bonaire with Planet X TV crew allowed us to have a true adventure in the Caribbean on the land and underwater. Welcome to Klein Bonaire, a small uninhabited island off the west coast of the main island of Bonaire. It's six kilometers long, approximately only 1,500 total acres. It's extremely flat rising no more than two meters above the sea, world famous as a dive and snorkeling hotspot. It's also the site for our reef surfer and Planet X underwater expedition. This is Paul with Planet X. We're gonna go to Klein Bon Air and have one of the best dives of your life. Say 
Bedankt van 8X, we zijn zo terug. Planet X TV. Only here, only here, only here, only here, only here. Planet X TV. We understand that the, the ocean is the heart of the planet. And we need to protect more of it. We, we really don't protect enough of our ocean. And, and, and I heard a wonderful saying the other day, the ocean doesn't need us, but we need the ocean. Absolutely. And, you know, water is life. Water is the source of all life on Earth. And uh, the ocean is really every second breath you take, the oxygen comes from the ocean. So that might be important to you watching out there. So let's all work together. Let's ensure that we have uh, clean water and a healthy ocean for not only the whales and the sharks, but for all of us. We are back here at DEMA, and you know what, I'm going to toss it back over to my buddy Paul, who just interviewed Jean-Michel, the legend, Cousteau, right here on Planet X TV. I'm here with the legendary, can I call you that? Legendary Jean-Michel Cousteau with Ocean Explorers and Body Glove. Tell me a little bit about Ocean Explorers. Well, I had the privilege of uh, growing in the ocean, since my father pushed me overboard when yeah. I was seven. I was a tank on my back, and I've been trying to understand the uh, importance of a life support system, which happens to be the ocean, yeah. all my life. Mm -hmm. And it's an endless discovery uh, expedition, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I realized, as a diver, that uh, there are a lot of surfers. And surfers are more and more concerned about the quality of the ocean. Mm -hmm. So by joining forces, we have a much stronger voice. Yeah. And we are able to reach out some of the decision makers mm -hmm. in a more constructive way. Because if we don't protect the ocean, we're heading toward catastrophes. Yeah. And if we protect the ocean, we protect ourselves. So that's really what it's all about. And I'm so happy that Body Glove and Ocean Future Society, which I represent, not for profit, uh, is joining forces to better communicate with mostly young people, uh, because a lot of surfers are young people. By the same token, I'm going to start to learn to uh, paddleboard. Paddleboard? You're not? Are they going to get you on a surfboard? No, I want to be on a paddleboard because I want to tell older people that they can be out there. Yes, they can. And I want to show them. Good for you. I appreciate all your work. Before I let you go, what is your number one concern about the oceans? If you could grab in there and fix one thing, what would it be? We need to stop using the ocean as a universal sewer. The fact that we as visual creatures, mm -hmm. we only relate to things we see. What about hundreds of chemicals and many heavy metals mm -hmm. that end up into the ocean affect the entire food chain, including the fish that we catch and put in our 
plates, yeah. and it affects every one of us. So now we're starting to know. Before we didn't know. How right. can you protect what you don't understand? Right. We need to find ways to capture all of that dangerous material before it gets into the ocean. And that's a challenge. We have to deal with our decision makers, but young people can come up with new ideas on how we're going to handle that, and we can. Well, as a waterman myself, I am privileged to have talked to you today. We'll be back with more at DEMA at the Bully Booth when Planet X TV comes back. Planet X TV. Only here, only here, only here, only here, only here, only here, only here. If you wish to appear on Planet X TV, or to get more information, please email us at info at planetx.tv. Blah, 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 blah. And hey, we're back here at uh, DEMA. Right. On Planet X TV, good buddy Wyland. Mark, hey, tell us about the history of uh, DEMA here. Well, DEMA, you know, is the dive industry standard. I mean, it's all the dive uh, equipment manufacturers, and it's it's Hall of Famers. It's uh, legends of the sea like Rodney Fox and Dr. Sylvia Earle, Stan Waterman. My goodness, everybody's here, and, you know, they have their Hall of Fame awards. Uh, they have the DEMA party. Really, it's a big party is what it is. Uh, we're out here uh, with my art exhibition with the Ocean Artist Society. We like to, to see the beauty in nature, and a lot of it is starting to disappear, so the divers are really responsible for bringing uh, the message of conservation, you know. We see it firsthand, and then we can tell the stories, you know. And that, that's, what, that's what we divers uh, do. We're like uh, in charge of ensuring that we have uh, healthy coral reefs and, and the ocean is clean. And, you know, it's been going in the wrong direction, but I think that people are committed to ensuring that we have uh, clean water and healthy oceans for all of us, not only the fish, us. Wyland, thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. Ryan, thank you. Buddy, I see you. For Wyland, my buddy Mark, I'm Paul Tosh for Planet X TV from DEMA. We'll see you next time. Vegas, baby. Here we are, gonna take a chance. Time of your life is fading fast. Said, hold right there while we advance. Clear as day when you're in a trance. We're gonna make it through you. Gonna see you someday. We'll never change. It's all happening right now.
Next is brought to you by Super Shuttle, the official transportation partner for Planet X TV. When you need a lift, think Super Shuttle. Planet X is brought to you by the Inn at Sunset Cliffs here in beautiful Ocean Beach, California. Here's the website. Check it, book it, use it, you'll love it. Only here, 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 only